In this video, I will explain how the Diffie-Hellman key exchange works. Diffie-Hellman key exchange is a method to securely establish a shared secret between two parties, in this example, Alice and Bob, over a public channel. Step 1. Alice and Bob agrees on the publicly shared domain parameters alpha, which is a generator, and p, which is the modulus. For example, alpha is 3, p is 17. Step 2. Alice generates a random number. This is Alice's private key. Alice's private key must be a value in the range between 2 and p minus 2. For example, 15. Step 3. Bob also generates a random number. This is Bob's private key. Also, Bob's private key must be a value between 2 and p minus 2. For example, 13. Step 4. Alice calculates her public key. She uses her private key as an exponent and using this equation. Step 5. Bob calculates his public key. Bob uses his private key as an exponent, as you can see in this equation. Step 6. Alice sends her public key to Bob over the public channel. Step 7. Bob sends his public key to Alice also over the same public channel. Step 8. Alice takes Bob's public key and calculates the secret key with this equation. Here is Bob's public key and this is Alice's private key as an exponent. And the secret key is calculated with this equation. Step 9. Bob takes Alice's public key and calculates the secret key. This secret key is the same as Alice's secret key. Bob takes Alice's public key and uses his private key as an exponent. Step 10. Alice and Bob can use a secret key, also known as session key, in a symmetric key algorithm, for example AS, to encrypt and decrypt their messages. So here's the proof that Alice and Bob's secret keys are the same. Alpha to the power of Alice's private key is assigned to variable A. Alpha to the power of Bob's private key is assigned to variable B. This is the equation of Alice's public key. And here's the equation of Bob's public key. Alice calculates the secret key using this equation. So if you look at the public key of Bob, that is this part. And here is Bob's public key. This is Bob's public key equation. If I replace this exponent with b, then you get alpha b, and then the private key of Alice, that is a, and I write a over here. If I do the same with Bob's secret key, this is Bob's secret key equation. Here is the public key of Alice. This is the equation of public key of Alice. If I replace this part with a, so alpha a mod p, alpha a mod p, and then the private key of Bob, that is b. And if you look at this equation, alpha a b is the same as alpha b a. And if you look at both equations over here, then they are the same. So this is the proof that Alice and Bob's secret keys are the same. The question is, can Eve calculate the secret key? Eve is evil and has intercepted Alice and Bob's public key, and she also knows the generator and the modulus. So let's take Alice's public key, and this is the equation. She needs to calculate the discrete logarithm, which is very hard to do, especially if the modulus has 1024 bits or bigger. To calculate Alice's private key, she writes this equation. Private key Alice is log base alpha of public key Alice mod p. In another form, you can also write it this way. Public key Alice is alpha to the power of private key Alice mod p. And if you watch my previous video regarding discrete logarithm, you know that solving a discrete logarithm is very hard to do. To answer the question, can Eve calculate the secret key? The answer is no.